Jasper and Farouk. I might run it up. Money long pin. Jasper and Farouk. I might run it up. Right, you're gonna start off by just importing your clip and your song and syncing them just like this. Uh, the next thing you're gonna want to do is just go to your marker, uh, which would be or where the kill is, and add a marker, which would be right around here. And uh, what you're gonna want to do is just go into your video effects tab and search for Twitchster Pro. I uh, just go ahead and drag this thing. You want to copy my settings if you want. However, it is not uh, necessary. Uh, the next thing you're going to want to do is just go back uh, to the exact frame where the pump gets pulled out, which will be right here. You're then going to want to animate your speed percentage uh, and just add a key from here. And then go to the marker and set the speed percentage to 10. Uh, now you just want to drag this out a bit and uh, just go sort of like here, I would say. Y you want roughly a, like an even spacing between these. So just add a key from here. Go five frames forward, so to 41 right here, and set the speed percentage to, you know, when the character hits, which will be 400 for me. Uh, go two frames forward, one, two, and set it to 50. Uh, now what you're going to need to do is just uh, split this, or split the song, drag it out so that the end meets right there, and it'll automatically be split. Just go ahead and drag that in a couple frames, just fade it in like that. Uh, as well as drag that in and fade. Actually, don't drag that in. Never mind. Just fade that out like that. Uh, and you should be good to go. Uh, the next thing I want to do is just add the sound effect that is in the description. Uh, it is free for me, of course. So just go ahead and drag this in right here. Click reverse. Trim that. Uh, and go to the impact, which should be right here. Uh, and then just go ahead and do that. Trim it. Fade it out a bit. And just make sure that it's uh, it just fades in the entire way essentially. Uh, you can go and animate these, you know, fade ins however you want. Doesn't really matter. Uh, you can also just go ahead and add a um, a gun impact, the gun gun effects if you have one of those. Uh, if not, there will be a sound effect in the description as well. Uh, I'm just going through my. Uh, my folder is trying to find it, and here it is. We have a crisp pump kill. So I'm just going to go ahead and drag that in, and it'll be in the description as well if you need it. Uh, now what you're going to do is just uh, highlight all of these, go to File, Render, and just export it in a decent quality. Let's do Video 0318, and you want to let this render, all right? And uh, I'm going to see you guys when it's done. All right, so the video finished rendering and I have it imported right here. Uh, what you're going to want to do now is just go to the frame where the impact hits. Uh, go back three frames, one, two, three, and apply the preset that is in the description. It'll have a different name for you guys, uh, but just go ahead and apply that and you'll get this sort of impact thing. Uh, the next thing you need to do is just go to roughly a bit after he pulls the gun out. You'll notice when it starts getting extra slow. Uh, go into your video effects tab and search for blur mo curves. Uh, just go ahead and drag that on there. Uh, keyframe the Z distance. Uh, go like two thirds of the way in. Set it to 0, 0,8. Set this to fast. Set this keyframe to slow. Drag that forward a bit. And just set it to set the Z distance to one on the last frame. It'll then look like this, and it'll just sort of it'll it'll be smooth. You'll have a nice sort of impact or whatever. Uh, I would recommend just adding a slight Y shake to this as well. So just go ahead and apply something like that. I'm gonna go ahead and set the frequency down to four, and uh, I'm just gonna go forward sort of like this, and I have applied it to the track because I am a moron. Uh, we just go ahead and like set that to like five. Let's say uh, keyframe it. Add a keyframe there. There we go. Uh, and do that. Uh, and now th there we go. We should have a very nice. Uh, well, I mean, obviously it'll look fucked because I haven't pre-rendered it. Uh, but yeah, there you go. That is essentially the entire effect. Alright, thank you guys so, so much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, make sure to like down below, comment, subscribe, all that good shit, and I'll see you guys in a couple days, and peace.